we certainly are um, in a world where we develop a tremendous amount of scalability for our customers. That energy efficiency matters. Whereas we, in the past, try to convince ourselves energy efficiency was something we can shuffle off to the side. Um, where the overall total cost of the operation of the data center was clearly part of the point. And frankly, matters as much as just giving someone a nice proposal and an opportunity and a face rate. Really kind of what is, how does, what does it mean in terms of distilling down their total operations from their personnel to the data center? How do we conjoin with a variety of teams to reduce occupancy costs? And then lastly, we were confronted with the very basics of you're building these monstrously expensive data centers and customers want to have amenities. They want to be able to live in them and breathe in them and operate their office space and, and create environments that were, um, you know, symmetrical with their customer needs, with their end customers. And um, so you, we culminate all of that and a lot of it's what you see today and that is the, the pretty white building uh, tool behind us is the first megawatt data center that we deployed. Um, we said we would build it in, by end of year, and we started, started work on it in uh, March, April last year with all the design work and all the permitting work. And we, had the we were the beneficiaries of having a massive central plant because we sold ourselves on a business plan that says that we need to go and be a, at scale, very large player in the wholesale space to compete with, again, a very competitive environment with our, for our customers. And so we built that facility um, starting in July uh, last year. We completed it in December, actually January 1st at 5 a.m. and commissioned it. And um, it was a great project. It has a, has a you know, state of PUEs that you all see in our literature. And uh, to be honest, we have a commissioning document that provides for a little, very little PUE. But it's a, it is a instantaneous PUE. And it was 1.20 without the chillers, which you see behind us. And then with the full load of the chillers, with the full load in the whole data center, full 100% load, it was a 1.29. So do we expect to see that range within the whole year? Of course not. That was January 1st, 2011. But uh, we will, as we go forward, honestly portray what those numbers look like and we'll provide this to our customers. The key was we developed and we said we had to set a, a new mark for PUE in Silicon Valley and, frankly, in the United States. And so providing that had, uh, creates an ability uh, to save massive amounts of dollars, which you see evidenced in some of the banners outside. And you may recall uh, in the last several weeks a project called the Open Compute Project, a, a release that was made by Facebook. And you'll actually see a schematic on there. And if you look at that schematic and you look at our schematic, you have to look really detailed in the fine lines to see any differences because they're very, very, very close. Um, we didn't. We know their teams. We respect those guys tremendously, and we learn from them all the time. Um, the, and uh, we've known them for. My engineering team has known their engineering for, for quite a long time. Um, and so um, there are differences. Uh, there's there, but the the key point was mechanically we were approaching an industry that allowed for very wholesale, large scale deployments in the same way they did. And our goal was a a highly efficient data center mechanically. And in turn, we both had different types of views as to how electrically we would have energy efficiency hit the data center. Um, I never came in front of this challenge and said to myself, I've got to be the, have, have the greenest data centers on the planet. I said, we have to build data centers, we can make a lot of money. And um, certainly my financial partners appreciated that. Um, but as we as we wrote our business plan, we came up with all the tenants of what that would be. And from a financial standpoint, we said, look, data centers need to be efficient. Data centers need to have a depth of operational team. Data centers need to be employed easily and be highly scalable. Scalable to me means not just capacity, but timing as well. How do you deploy small incremental data center assets or very large ones very, very quickly? This corporate, this data center campus is a part of that answer. Uh, and then, how do you work collaboratively with your customers so that there is a there is a team environment of innovation from the customer need and the customer engineering and operating team level to our, our engineering and operating teams? And those were the basics. And none, none of that business plan did we write lead platinum or you know greenest data centers. But as we got into our design workshop, as we invited some of the best minds from a design standpoint to work through engineering efficiency, um, layouts, 
um, it was it was highly apparent that this was the natural thing to do. That business profitability and green technology and sustainability goals were, were entirely aligned. And then part of the easy answer was, as I talked to my customers and mentioned lead, when I mentioned lead platform, they just they entirely let up. Some of them said, if you don't have it, then I won't even talk to you. But it was an easy answer. And so with that, it was an easy follow through. And so the alignment of business interests and our, our goals as a, again, an incredibly high efficiency data center array of assets and our goal towards promoting that nationally was a natural thing for us to do.